So what I have is basically the blood wood planks main color and then we have the spruce trim and I think it works out pretty well. What's up people? I'm Zog and welcome to my world. We're here, we're doing things back on uh, FTB Sky Factory 3. We have a lot of chickens. There's a little spoiler alert up there in the top left. Ow. Despite me having that, I still just took fall damage. Um, there's also a few things here you don't see. Now, the reason for- or you don't see? You don't, uh, remember, likely. Because I just did it all off camera. Um, <laughs> now, the main reason I didn't bring you back through this process is pretty much because I've already done it in went back when the series was a 2.5 series, Sky Factory 2.5. I already did it. You didn't really need to see it again. I see it again. So I just went ahead and did it, you know, and caught myself back up a little bit to where I was in that series. Now, that being said, I did not cheat for any of it. I want to make that clear because some of you are like, you should just cheat for it. Or some of you are, don't cheat for it. You just just, you just start from scratch, blah, blah, blah. So so I, it appears to matter to some of you whether or not I do or do, don't cheat for, for what I had in the previous series. And I didn't cheat for any of it, so I, I, I feel better about that. I really do. And, and it's going to stick. I'm going to stick with that. Even though I had a lot of this stuff already, you know, in the other series, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to take it. Because it kind of, I don't know, it's a new version. Anyway, so that being said, what I want to do today required something. It required a jetpack. So the jetpack requires power, okay? So that was number one that I had to think about was the power situation. So I went ahead and I started setting up this and I was like, okay, we'll just get the cobble gen. We'll do the cobble gen situation. So I have that automatically pumped in obviously with the upgrade mining here, which is a different recipe or not a different recipe, but a different function, a different name even. It used to be called the world interaction upgrade. Now it's the upgrade mining, which is kind of, it's, it's the same thing. It does the same effect, but it's not exactly the same. Um, yeah, I don't know. What, anyway, I kind of lost my train of thought there for a second. But I went ahead and I got this. These guys are all set up. As you can see, the crucibles. This is enough, I believe, to sustain it all. It's only seven of them. It's not eight like it was. But uh, we should be okay nonetheless. We have two magmatic generators put into a basic capacitor bank here that is charging our jetpack. Which, now that we have this here, we can, we have 1000 RF, should charge it up pretty well, as long as we don't completely drain this guy for whatever reason. Uh, we should be able to charge it pretty quick. But, in this process, I realized a few other things that I would need. The, the uh, transfer nodes actually are really, really cheap, actually, in this pack. They're really not bad at all. Uh, if we take a look at these guys, it's just a bucket. Some stone, redstone, transfer pipe, and the transfer pipes are really, really cheap as well. So that wasn't a problem at all. And even the uh, the item one is just a chest instead of a bucket. So it's really, really cheap for these. But these guys right here, it's not that uh, these guys are expensive because they're really not too incredibly bad. If we take a look at the magmatic stuff here, um, we should be able to go here. And it's just a regular furnace generator. So we needed some gold. We needed some lava, some redstone. Some iron, more redstone, furnace, and this. So it's really not all that complicated. A lot of this stuff I did have, but I was running low on gold. I was running low on, low on a few things here. Uh, so it was a little more complicated to get them. Uh, which is why we have a bunch more chickens over there, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. But along with that, if you look at the bottom, we're using 11 out of 73. These guys use just a small bit of grid power. And I think they do that just so... It's not that it actually uses it to generate RF, because as you see, we're using lava to do that. But I think they wanted to make sure that you had some kind of grid power hooked up already. And, uh, you know, before you actually went in and tried to use the RF generation through this route in extra utilities. This guy also uses some as well. Power drain is 10 on this guy. But you see, it's 11, which makes me think that these guys are actually 0.5. They both use 0.5 as kind of their requirement, which is pretty good because it's not a huge amount, but it still requires a little bit, so it's not like they made it unreasonable or anything. If we go and try to use this guy without any grid power, 
I don't know, it's just kind of what the mod is based on. Grid power is kind of the first thing you get. So, I went ahead and I, I took a look at the first thing to get, try to get some solar panels. I was like, yeah, I can just get solar panels. That's pretty, wait a minute, resonating redstone crystal. You usually get this for mining. How do you get it now? Oh, you need an ender shard. How do you get that? You need the ender pearl. So then, I was like, crap, I need ender pearls. I don't have any more ender pearls. This is really unfortunate. How am I going to get around this without building the mob farm? The answer is you can't. So I went ahead and built out the mob farm, actually. This guy right here, uh, what are, oh, you were, we're like sucking up everything. We have too much of everything. But now, we do actually get a small bit of ender pearls. I need to clear this guy out. How in the world did we get snowballs? Where do snowballs come from? I have, no, I have no idea. But there is something over here. If we take a look at this, this is the mob fan. Is there anything, anybody in here so we can take, oh, oh, this is, oh, no, that's going to kill me. I don't want to go in there, okay? I don't want to go in there. These guys are ridiculously good at pushing mobs. So these things, yeah, I mean, they just work like crazy. The mob fans is, uh, is what I'm talking about. These guys right here, and it's actually from a different mod. It's called, it's mob underscore. There's an underscore in it. So if you do that, you're only going to get that mob, uh, mod. So it's called mob grinding utils, and this is the fan. Now this has some interesting things, including spikes, uh, mob fan spikes, it has wither boss death muffler and ender dragon death muffler, death muffler, the, <laughs> a little hard to pronounce these things sometimes, dark oak stone, and they said it couldn't be done, I like that, that's cool, I don't know why I do, but it has like the faucet, or what is, it's the XP drain is basically, what this is mimicking right here and it has the regular singular tank or blah 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 so it has a lot of features in here a lot of upgrades for example the mob fan you can change how wide of a push it is you see we only have two fans in the back wall there that's because we have three of these in each one you see max of three so you can only have three in there but what it does is it adds one to each side so we have the one right in front, plus one upgrade, two upgrade, three upgrade. But it actually goes on the other side as well. So one upgrade, two upgrade, three upgrade. And these guys meet in the middle, but basically it just covers that whole back wall. So in order to get that working, in order to get the ender pearl, I had to take a look at this and I was like, crap, I need aluminum. Oh man, that's hard. And I need steel. Are you kidding me? So in order to get that stuff done... I had to go over here into chickens to go even further. Now, I already mentioned the gold and everything that I told you about. So, I do have some gold. I have, uh, there's the gold chicken there. So, I got that and then I got the aluminum, which is over here. And then I got a bunch of the steel because I needed a lot of the steel for the upgrade. So, I went ahead and got four of those chickens, all 10, 10, 10s. Um, and yes, I have been working on chickens a lot, a huge amount. I'm almost done with all of the tier one uh, chickens. Uh, being 10, 10, 10, not completely there yet. I think there's still like the blue one. I don't think is there yet. No, not yet. Uh, the yellow one I think is brown, not so much. So we have a little bit of these. Actually, I think I do have a cocoa brown. I have a brown one. I thought, yeah, you, you're a 10, 10, 10. So I don't need you at all, but goodbye. But anyway, so you get the idea. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And this is kind of one of the things I wanted to work on today, but we're going to get to that in a minute. I need to finish explaining everything that I've done so you're not completely lost when I start using something you haven't seen me use before. But so I came over here and I was like, okay, I need the aluminum and I need the steel. So if we take a look at the steel egg, steel chicken rather, I'm like, okay, coal and iron. I already had the iron. Uh, I was, like I said, I was doing a, a lot of that stuff, which is just bone white and flint. So it's not hard to get. That was like coal. Okay, log. I had to make that and get that up to 10, 10, 10. Flint I already had. So then we get the coal, get that up to 10, 10, 10. Then we mix those two together to get the steel chicken, um, which instead of getting steel, I actually got lead. I got lead right away. And I was like, crap, if you take a look, this is now lead. So we can get steel and lead from the same combination. And this tripped me out for a while. I was hoping and praying that the, the recipe wasn't wrong. And it wasn't. If you're trying to get the steel egg, you just have to wait long enough. You can get both from the crossbreeding, okay? So you just have to wait long enough. You'll eventually get a steel as well as a lead. So there you go. So I also have a lead one down here as well. That's also 10, 10, 10. 
Uh, I got the steel, I got the aluminum, I waited long enough for everything to grow up and give me enough of that stuff. So I got the upgrades. Then I got the ender pearls, which was a huge debacle over here because I accidentally messed up and I removed the lighting, it came back over here, everything spawned and there was still a big hole in the front so everything started to chase me and everything. It was, it was, it was a pretty big little problem. It was a pretty big problem. Uh, which, by the way, once I got the solar panels and everything hooked up and stuff, I went ahead and I just made a bunch of water mills in preparation for the angel rings, which we're going to go try to get soon. I have a couple ideas, uh, but we're not doing that today. Not today. Um, and, and once we get the rings, I'm going to be so happy that we have them too. Like, no, you have no idea. I hate jetpacks. I really do. They require power. I don't hate them, okay? I don't hate jetpacks. I take that back. I don't hate jetpacks. They're good. But they're not... I, I like creative flight so much better. I mean, jetpacks are awesome for flight. Don't get me wrong, but it's just jetpacks are all, or uh, creative flight is a lot better. Anyway, so yeah, I did go ahead and get these guys, which it, it just required. You've seen me do this before in extra utilities. If you don't know, the recipe's in there. I'm not going to go through all that stuff, but I did get four of those guys hooked up. Uh, so after I got all of that, I upgraded that. I got the ender pearl. I cut it up. I, I chopped it up. I got the little pieces that I needed for all of the solar panels, which I know I said we're not going to go into it, but really quick solar panels. You needed the redstone resonating crystal. So that way I could power this and make the water mills, set everything up, use this in order to make power. And then I was like, crap, I need to get this as well. And that is when I realized I needed copper because of the capacitor here. This guy requires basic capacitors, which needs copper. I already had, and the gold, but I already had uh, the redstone, so that wasn't a problem. I had the redstone a long, long, long time ago, so we got plenty of redstone now. But, uh, yeah, so then I went to get the copper, got, them, got myself the gold that I was just telling you about. And finally, finally I got everything that I needed to go ahead and power up my jetpack. Which is kind of ridiculous. It's so nuts. It's just crazy. It's really, really, really crazy, but I finally got it. Now, the reason I wanted this is because I want to set something up with these chickens here. I want to set something up with this to make it and, and like organize it a little bit. And it's going to go off this direction. Oh, that brings me to something else I got to explain to you. I was told before, and, and again, I'm, I'm glad I have the, uh, the jetpack here. You, can't, you can barely see it, but there's actually bloodwood saplings. If you look at the tooltip, they're right there. Um, they don't grow in this mod pack. In this version of the mod pack. I actually checked the specific version of the mod pack itself. The entirety of the mod pack is the version that I saw this error on. They don't grow. So how I got these is I actually traded them. I did a one for one trade with spruce. I went and, and I think the reason for that actually is if we take a look at bloodwood, there's no trunk. There's no actual bloodwood logs in here. I think that's why they don't grow. They're trying to, but they're like, uh, we don't have the block to use, so we can't. And then they don't. So what I did is I went and I, I grew some spruce. I chopped down the spruce wood, converted it into planks, and literally got the exact number of planks that I got from the spruce wood and converted it over manually using creative mode. I think probably in here somewhere there's a... Ch oh, no, that's a lot of chick. Those other... Okay. Anyway, I don't know. You might have seen it in there somewhere. But I did change, go into creative mode to change it out and everything uh, in order to get my, my blood wood. I have a little bit of it left, but not a huge amount. So we're probably not going to decorate it with the blood wood or, or anything. I just need to make a, a basic platform. I have an idea in my head for how I want to design the chicken area. But I don't know what blocks I'm going to use or how yet. So we're not going to use anything yet. I think we're just going to go with like a combination of cobblestone. Maybe I'll chisel it so it doesn't look too terrible. But uh, I probably will end up chiseling it. But I do need to collect it. Right now I don't really have a whole lot of options for that. I just kind of have to take it from this a lot of times. <laughs> so I'll be... Actually, I think I have a bunch in here too. So I'm going to go ahead and chisel up a bunch of cobblestone just so it's not regular and that's not absolutely terrible. But I'm going to build out a little bit of an area so you kind of understand what I want to do with the chickens and how I want to set them up. I think it's going to be really, really, really handy. And it's also going to help us organize the chickens. He just pooped out a bunch of redstone. Good job, buddy. Thanks for that. It's all gonna, also going to help us organize things to to try to see what other 
uh, resources, resource chickens we need. I also have an iron one. I told you about the iron one. I think so. So, uh, once I have something here set up and ready to show you, I'll, I'll bring it back. Cause I, I would build it on camera because I've already done a lot of show and tell stuff today, but I, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like. I usually kind of have to have one of those plans in my head already before I can build on camera. And I have no idea what it's going to look like. So I gotta, I gotta fidget with some stuff, but, uh, let me get this going and I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, 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 okay. So there's not much made yet. I wanted to show you this. First of all, we have a framed drawer here. I was told this and I apologize. I didn't dig out the name. Um, I'll, I'll probably do mention something about it in the future. But for now, we're not going to worry about that too much. We have a framing table. If we take a look at the drawers mod, there are framed drawers. Instead of using planks, you use sticks and it gives you the framed drawer. And then you bring the, the planks into here. Uh, I don't have any more frame stuff, but you put, you know, a material in here and that's the main color. You can also put a secondary color to do the trim. I'm not sure what the third color is. There, there is a third color. I'm not sure, but you can pretty much do any material, I think. Uh, there probably are limitations. I just don't know what they are. But after we go to sleep here, I'm going to show you the, what I chose to make over here. And it might change. I'm not sure. But it is kind of in line with the rest of the theme. How did you get way over here? Seriously, dude. Where's my egometer thing? Oh, you know what? You probably... Ah, yes. There was a chicken that hatched. I know. I know what you are. You're a 10, 10, 9 chicken, I think. You're not completely done yet. I'll have to identify you a little later. But for now, go in here. Anyway, now. I forgot about that guy. <laughs> I hatched an egg. Uh, anyway, so what I have is basically the blood wood planks main color and then we have the spruce trim and I think it works out pretty well. If we take a look, I mean we have spruce, we have blood wood. I could do, I don't know, maybe topiary grass possibly. I don't know if that would work or not, but we could try it just to bring the grass back in. It'd be interesting to have little bits of green over here. I'm not sure what that third slot adds, the one where I added the cobblestone tiles and stuff. I don't know what that actually adds to the mix. But in any case, these are the drawers we have now. I can always go back and change them later. Uh, I did make sure that was a thing, and I can. So that's not a big deal. But up here, you see that I did get some conduits. Now, the conduits, I know I've already had these, but this is a little bit different. The pulsating iron is created with iron and ender. But I actually made it in here in the alloy smelt or in the uh, tinker smelter because I don't have an alloy smelter. So I actually made the molten stuff just by combining. I, I liquefied ender pearls and actually made it molten iron to combine that together in order to get it. But I did go ahead and make a bunch of item conduits as you as you can see here. This all of this came from one block, one full block, nine ingots of pulsating iron, which is really really cool. It actually spreads itself pretty far. Now, this is the design that I have at the moment. I'm thinking four 10, 10, 10 chickens for every resource that we want to have will be pretty good. It may not be perfect. It may not be excellent, but it'll be, you know, decent. We shouldn't run out of supplies in theory. Okay, so things have changed again. I actually, like right in the middle of that, I don't know if you noticed how sudden that cut was. But I kind of decided to change things up. Uh, I now have a new idea for a design. And this one is actually, let me get up on top. Um, what we're going to do is pro it's probably going to be, a, the wall is going to be a little higher. Okay. And we're going to have, it's still going to be four 10, 10, 10 chickens. So each set of four here is going to be a, like, this is going to be red. This is going to be blue. This is going to be yellow or whatever. Uh, what is it? Red, orange, yellow. If we're going to the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, blue, green, no, green, blue, Roy G. Biv. Yeah, blue, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So, which granted, we don't have indigo or violet, but we do have purple and magenta. So it'll probably be those. But anyway, uh, that's the kind of idea that I'm going for. Now, this is going to require a lot of hay. These guys are ridiculously expensive, although I do have all of the nests already. I do have these guys, which I want to save some for sure, but I made way too many nests. Uh, and I only did that because I knew I was going to need a lot of these guys in the future. The nesting pens are very, very important for this 
because you get so many drops from it. If you don't have the nesting pens, you do get some stuff. Um, well, I'm not sure if you actually need nesting pens or not, to be quite honest. I really don't know. I think, um, yeah, I guess you still get the feathers. You still get the manure. You still get everything, I think. But you don't get the eggs, which we don't really need the eggs, so I don't know. Maybe in the future we'll change things up, but I think for now I like the idea of the chickens not being able to roam around wherever the heck they want to go. Uh, but if we take a look at egg, if we type in egg in here, there has been a change to the chickens mod in that now every single color, all 16 dyes now have an, have an associated chicken to go with it. So now we can get every single die just by having chickens, which is really, really cool. And what that means is that we have a unique way of identifying what chicken lays what die, and that is to color the blocks. To actually make red blocks, and we're gonna have, actually there's gonna be a space here. These guys are gonna come out. Hopefully I get these back. Get me, okay. Get me, oh, whew, okay. Um, I don't know why I want a space, it's just kind of how I calculated things out. There's going to be one space here and there's going to be a space at the other end as well. But what this does is it gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we have another space like right here like I was saying. Now 16, what is that? That's 8 colors, right? That's only 8 of them, but there's 16 total. But we have the other side. So we're going to use the other side for the other 8 colors. And we're going to use the dyes to actually change the colors of the blocks behind them. So this right here would be red and then orange back here. If we even have a, do we even, is orange even a thing? It is. Okay. So <laughs> it would be orange and then yellow. So the blocks behind them are going to change and kind of form half of the rainbow on this side and the other half of the rainbow on that side. And then over here is where it gets to be more creative with it because this is going to wrap around the outside over here and it's kind of be you know, another scenario just like this, only there's four more tier one chickens. I think there's four. I hope there's only four. Now for this, we're actually going to leave a one block space in the middle. So it's not going to be exactly the same design. And that's just done for symmetry and make everything fit properly. But it's going to be another setup like this where we have the sand, the flint, the log, and the nether quartz, which I don't have the nether quartz chicken yet. But uh, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm still working on it. That's a big, 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 huge pain in the butt. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll have all of that going just like this. I do have a lot of creating to go. I have a lot of crafting. I have a lot of collecting. I have a lot of everything to go. And I've already spent so much time on this episode that it is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, getting all the chickens that I needed, getting basically flight with this guy, which isn't even the best kind of flight. We're going to be working on wings here very, 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 very soon. Because um, I am not a... Uh, it's it's just like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the jetpacks. I, I like them for flight because they do give me flight. And comparatively, they're a little easier to get than some of the other things. But wings and creative flight are so, so, so much better. And it is entirely possible now you might be thinking, how in the world am I going to catch a ghast uh, that's low, like 20% health? There's actually, I wouldn't call it simple. I'm not saying it's going to be simple, but it's probably simpler than any of you might think it is. Um, and I'll have to show you that in the future, hopefully soonish. And then the same with the bat. The bat, I don't know exactly how I'm going to get that. I'm probably going to have to build the cave and let one spawn naturally and then try to go catch it, which would be a pain in the butt. But I do need to get a, uh, a golden lasso. I need to get a drop of evil in order to turn the golden lasso into an evil, a cursed lasso, and be able to catch the gas in the first place, and blah, 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 blah. So there's a big whole process. So we, we can't do it, like, right off the bat next episode or anything. But uh, it will be somewhat soon, that's for sure. Now, all of this is just my way of saying that I, I can't show you a completed project yet. I can't. I hate it so much not being able to finish a project in one episode. Um, this is so far from complete and I do apologize for that. Uh, you hopefully, I'm going to try to do what I can to spend as much time as I can off camera trying to finish this up before the next episode. Uh, just not finish it, but you know, get a lot further. So that way we don't spend a whole lot of time doing a lot of the same things. But, uh, it is what it is. I, I just can't, I just spent way too much time earlier and I didn't get enough done. 
Um, it took way longer than I thought it was going to. Anyway. Um, okay, so, yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at with this. But unfortunately, that is all the time I have for this episode. And it is a shorter episode. I said so much time spent, so it's kind of got to be... But if you liked it, don't let that like button get lonely and subscribe to see more. Check out the Patreon and donation links down below. Thank you for watching. Do what you do, and I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps.